Welcome back to Pez Become a Legend. This is now the final episode for Pez 2019. Yes, I haven't been too consistent with it, but we've done better than in previous years and we have the finale today. This one is gonna be slightly different, but make sure that you do watch it till the end. Let's begin. So to start things off, we got knocked out of the Copa del Rey by Celta Vigo. I know, unfortunate. I did skip it, but I thought that we'd have what it takes to get through to the next round. We then needed to try and bounce back. We had a league game against Hatafe, but things just weren't falling for me. I was just missing, going through every single time, missing shots were being saved, attempts just weren't going in, and it didn't seem like it was gonna be my day, which then resulted in, unfortunately for us, a draw away to Hatafe. Not great. Another big opportunity to redeem ourselves at this very, very nice stadium, Schalke's home ground, and it was in the Champions League. We were looking to try and get through to the quarterfinals. This is the inside of the Veltins Arena, a sea of royal blue, the colours of Schalke. Sadly though, once again, it didn't really end how we would have liked. That was literally the only chance of the game, a corner from Messi and my header hitting off the crossbar. Really cleanly. The final whistle. Barcelona can look forward to home advantage now, having avoided defeat in the first leg, it is theirs to take. As fate would have it, my next opportunity to try and redeem myself would be against my former employers, Atletico Madrid, who I'd recently just snaked. However, the backlash wouldn't be too bad as I was in Barcelona's home ground, the Camp Nou. We got into the game and I looked to break their defence early on, but my former teammates seemed to know every angle of my game. Obviously, they'd seen me train so many times and they just seemed to know everything I tried to do. I couldn't get past. However, they were playing against the former best player in the world and I didn't have that title at one stage for no reason as I rounded the goalkeeper and slotted it past him to make it 1-0, coming back to haunt my former team. We did think that might have been it. Just over 15 minutes to play and then... that Jim Beglin. Well considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy he was the one player that should have been picked up then it was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. We were then looking for one final opportunity to try and take all three points in this game as I got played in behind I got the shot off it was saved by Oblak and they cleared it away so both teams shared the spoils in this one and only taking a point each. That of course wasn't the end for us as we were still seven points clear of our rivals pretty much just waiting to win the league. It was then back in for some more Champions League action. Champions League action for which I was unfortunately dropped to the bench for, which saw my teammates struggle in the first half of the return leg against Schalke. That was until uh, Malcolm found himself on the wing. He cut inside and played a delicious ball into the box, looking to find the head of Dembele, which it did, and we were then 1-0 up. It looked like we found a way to get ourselves into the semi-finals. I did get to find my way onto the pitch, but unfortunately didn't really get to make my mark. However, it wouldn't matter as we would find ourselves through to the next round. I enjoyed my time at Atletico. I scored a lot of goals, the fans, the players, everyone treated me well, and I was to be reunited with them sooner than I thought. We found Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We continued to pick up points in the league by beating Valencia, still seven points clear of our rivals. It was time to see them again though, on the 7th of April. However, some bad news for me, I was benched. Despite being on the bench, I was ready to come off at any time and make my impact on the game and I did that in the 74th minute as I cut inside and I placed one into the far corner against my former employers and I gave us the 1-0 lead. As you know, when we were there, we never gave up and that mentality was still amongst the team as they did find their way into the box and Thomas Lamar changed the script, making it 1-1, an away goal for Atletico Madrid. The game ended 1-1, they got what they came for and really just disappointment for us. Regardless of that, Manny was still confident and he said the result will just take care of itself in the second leg. I got my name on a starting sheet this time but my return to my former employers was not looking good as they got off to a good start with a goal from Damari Gray and it gave them the lead that they needed, advantage Atletico. We know that Manny's a big player and there's a reason that Barcelona played 56 million or around that for him as he broke the lines of their defence and he did slot away very calmly to get Barcelona back into the game 1-1 and it's game on. Momentum at times is everything in football and we had just that going into the second half as I ran in on goal like a steam train and you thought I might have scored myself but I swear across the goal for Philippe Coutinho, no shame there in my former employer's home ground and that was met with jeers by the home fans but I didn't care, I was heading through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. The scoreline stayed the same and we did exactly that, Barcelona heading into the semi-finals. As if that good news wasn't enough, we were 13 points clear of our rivals and we'd been crowned champions. Myself, Messi and the others partied it late into the night and we enjoyed before we had to get ready for our semi-final. 
It was soon back to business with our biggest test to date. Up against PSG in the semi-final, how would we fare? So we were trying to see what the boys from France were about as I had enough space for a shot this time, just testing their keeper. I then found myself in behind once more, uh, trying to go around the goalkeeper this time, but only uh, to hit the post, which was very unfortunate. Not long after that, the ball was back in my possession. I played a nice one-two of Philippe Coutinho. I was bearing down on goal, and you know that was only going to be one outcome up against Ariola, and I smacked it into the back of the net. 1-0 Barcelona. PSG, though, were always going to have their chances as well. Hit long and direct. After many moments of frustration for PSG, they finally found their way behind our defence and it was Cavani early in the second half applying the finish, a beautiful finish at that, that gave them the equaliser, 1-1. So, we knew from that point it was going to be very, very difficult and we had a lot of work to do. PSG, however, they had the momentum and they wanted to get back on top. We knew we couldn't let that happen though and a lovely pass from a Denis Suarez put me through and on goal. They tried to chase me but they couldn't keep up with the pace of Manny and I applied the finish, giving us back the lead 2-1. PSG knew they needed to change something and they did just that. They made a substitution and brought Kimmich off as Cavani broke into our box late into the game, played one across the box and it was a tap in for Nunes, the substitute. So great tactical substitution for them and it was uh, bad news for us, 2-2. We thought that we might have one last chance as Denis Suarez played a ball over the top, met with a high challenge from Ariola. Referee saw no problems with that. The game ended there and it was 2-2. So the result, in the end, more favouring the boys from France. We had a lot of work to do. We arrived in the French capital knowing that it would be a very difficult game and we knew that we were up against the big stars, the likes of Neymar, Mbappe and Di Maria to keep out. How were we going to do that? We didn't know. A ticket to the final was the reward for this one, so it was always going to be a fiery affair. Kimpembe picking up a yellow card this time. I was trying to test their goalkeeper at any opportunity given, this time met with more frustration. He was very pumped up and ready for the occasion. He wanted to win that Champions League, did Buffon. We knew that we needed to try something different and we did just that as it got worked into the box to myself and then I played it across for Philippe Coutinho once again to apply the finish and it was advantage Barcelona in the capital of France. We weren't done there though and we wanted to get in behind once again and end Buffon's Champions League dream once and for all. We did just that, sad for him, but we booked our ticket in the Champions League final. Heartbreak for PSG, but a Champions League final against Manchester City awaiting the players of Barcelona. Let's see how it goes down. Um, but yeah, long story short, we found ourselves in the Champions League final. I'm going to make this Pez episode uh, very different to anything that you might have seen before on the Pez series. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do, we're in the Champions League final, we've got Girona on the last day, we can make history, get 100 points for Barcelona and also win the Champions League. So this is the finale, this is the last episode of Pez Become a Legend on 2019. I don't know, I just want to end it off nicely, normally I don't end off Become a Legend, I just stop uploading it and start on 20, so we want to change that. I'm going to go into the final game of the season and then after that we've got Manchester City in the Champions League final. This is a moment. <laughs> this could all be for nothing right now, you know. This could all be for nothing because like we we've, we've got the we've got um <laughs> the Champions League right in front of us. We've won the league, got the Champions League, but I've done a whole build up up to this moment. Obviously, this is just all, this is like this is our warm up. We've won the league already, so it doesn't really matter what happens in this, but it'd be nice to get 100 points. That'd be a nice way to um end things off. Honestly, like <laughs> the road to get to this final, this Champions League final, you guys are gonna like, I hope you love it. I'm gonna try and make it interesting. But obviously because there was so much left to play and was, uh, Pez 20's out, that's why I've, um, I've sort of played games off camera, if that makes sense. Edges, oh man. Just give me, give me a nice pass. There we go, there we go, no excuses. Why is that along the ground? Why is that along the ground? Out. Go, 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 go. Why aren't you running towards the ball? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Hold it, hold it, hold it, do it. I don't think there's anyone with me. Should we hit him with the chop? Okay, I didn't even do that. I let go of the controls. Uh, we can't play like this in the final. We cannot play like this in the final. There is, there is no way that will be allowed, can take. You're just clattering into guys. My days. We could we could get a hundred points. 
that would just be a great way to get 100 points, win the Champions League, do you know what I mean? <gasps> oh my days. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a terrible pass on Kante. Not a bad ball. Uh, go on, feet. Uh, we need a goal, I need my confidence. Imagine if I score in this game, or if I don't score in this game and they bench me for the final. So I'm not going to lie, not too long ago they were benching me a little bit. Hey, I didn't know what to do. Should I play that to Coutinho or not? Go on, make a move. Make a move, Malcolm. Yeah, I'm offside, I'm offside. There's just no point. There's just no point. Don't just kick it straight back at me. Why do they always do this? Good shot. All right, just let me get ahead on. Right, we brought on Messi. Who's that too? I I am not optimistic for this final, you know. I am not optimistic at the moment. If we're playing like this, look how tired my guy looks. I mean, with the way we were moving, it was coming. It was coming with the way we were moving. Not playing well in front of goal, not doing enough around the box, and they're going to score. Man like poor too. Hey, Man City are going to have a filled day with us at the moment. We can't even beat Girona. Hey, look at that. Good work. Kante. Vidal. Oh, come on, boys, man. Come on. Box it. Yes. There's not even any help. I don't even know who I'm passing that to. We're going to lose to Girona. We can't play like this in the final. We've got one shot. Wait, oh, go on. Go on. Nah, no, that's deep. Okay, season's done. Season's done. Fair play. Girona beat us. But if we play like that in the final, we are done for. We are absolutely done for if we play like that in the final. Ah, oh, man. Okay, cool. We left Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid, we left them and we won the league. So that was a good decision. Although it was a snaky thing to do, we didn't have enough time in the series to try and win the league with them and try and do like all like the battle against the odds and all that. We had no time. I wanted to win the league in Spain. So we did that. that that's good. Uh, over the season as well, or since we moved to Barca, after 21 appearances, average rating of 6.8 and 19 goals. Two assists to go with that as well. But, you know, we did actually skip a few games in that, so that's why the average rating is pretty low. But at the age of 22, over 208 career goals, 58 assists, and now we're in a Champions League final against Manchester City. So, not a bad career, you know. We won the league. I got MVP, most valuable player in the league, top scorer, picked for team of the season, all sorts. We're doing a madness, doing a madness. And now they changed my name to El Matador. But here it is. This is the big game. This is a big game, like... Man City versus Barcelona. We just lost to Girona. But now this is a massive moment. Ooh. I'm not going to lie to you. I do miss the whole Champions League intro and all of that. I do really miss that. That's a huge loss for Pez. But, you know, we've done without it for this season. We've still done okay. Uh, you guys have still enjoyed it. So, so that's a good thing. No, I don't, don't want to wear the yellow kit. Wait, did they just let me use the pink kit for the final? This has not been here all this time. I'm getting a bit nervous now. I can't lie. I'm just here like, this is a big moment. <sighs> Champions League final. See, I'm not going to lie, I really do miss the licenses, the real Champions League, when they like engrave it and stuff, and they see who's going to win it. It's that Jack Butland in goal for City. They've got Jonathan Tarr playing as well. Champions League final. We're wearing the pink kit for a special occasion. It does look nice with the hair as well. Ah, oh, Man City's lineup is crazy, boy. It's crazy. Come on, man. Let's do this. Pain or glory? What's it gonna be? Pain or glory? Kick off. They're not wasting any time. Uh, this kit is peng. Why haven't I been able to use this all season long? Chill, 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 chill. Chill, Sterling. Go on, Coutinho. Just get up. Okay, that's not bad. Too slow, man. Too slow, too slow. Ah, I'm so scared. Relax. Relax. Had to bring out the Spanish for the final. That's about all I know in Spanish, by the way. So don't get excited. Go on, line it. Hey. I've got big Vincent company in my way. 
Go on, make something happen. Come on the edge. It's not a bad pass. Oh! Go, 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 go. Don't give them a chance to settle in this game. Or do that. Or do that. Don't let them do that silly stuff. Yes, Rakitic. Look at that. Oh, what a pass, Rakitic. What a pass. Oh! No. Good. Kante, do something. What's that? Oh, my gosh. Yes. No. That is not a free kick, man. That is not a free kick. Shoot outside the box, I wish. I don't even think I've scored any good goals from outside the box. Maybe one. I can't recall any. Yes, Ter Stegen. Little sideline kick. Lovely. Oh, again, again, the final pass. I tried to pick out Dembele. Oh! No, Sterling through. Oh, Ter Stegen, what a save. Why did that guy just come out and take him out like that? Why did he come out? Why was he angry? Is that Jordi Alba? He was so mad. I Sterling, hey, that is a big hand from Ter Stegen. Get rid, get rid, get rid, get out. Out, out. Oh! What, what is going on there? What just happened? It's Dembele. Oh my days. No, no, at half time. This has been cagey. This game has been cagey. City are all over us. But what did we expect? What did we actually expect? We've had the only shot in the game. We even had... No, we didn't. No, they had the only shot in the game. About to say, we ain't had a shot. Dembele, up you get. Yes, Dembele. Oh my days. Love that. No! We lost side. How close is this? Not very. Not very. I thought just hold it up for him. Yes, Lionel Messi's come on for Dembele. I hope that increases our chances. <laughs> ah, this is so scary. Go on. Ah, oh, it was there for the taking. It was there for the taking. No, no, no. You can't leave Sterling with that much space, man. Nah, nah, don't get popped. Love that. Beautiful defender. Now he's going to pitch. Yes, Messi. Take that back. Yes, Messi. Oh, company is just, just a block. Oh, a block that's given the ball away. Messi, Manny, Coutinho. One more. Oh, that pass is horrible. Yes, hey, right, we're moving it. We're moving it. Go on. No. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Quick. Oh my days. Who's in the box? No! Oh, go on. Ankara Ulolo. Messi! <sighs> Alright, do you know what? Compared to last game, at least we're turning up a little bit. Oh, no. Imagine. From this corner. Imagine. Go on, Manny. That Jonathan Tarr. What are you doing? Oh no, no. Oh my, if they score now. Oh, oh my god. He's offside. He's offside. Oh. <laughs> we might have one more chance. We might have one more chance. Do it. Manny, shoot! Oh my days. Oh my days. <sighs> I can't lie to you guys. This is this is mad. I don't want to get substituted. That's one thing that I don't want to happen. But extra time. We need this ball back. Oh no. 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 Oh. <laughs> Yes, Kante. Oh, no. 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 Yes, Tostigan. I'm offside, I'm offside. Oh, Kante. Do it! Oh my gosh, if we do not score here, do this. What is that? I can't believe what I just saw. 
What 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 is Coutinho doing there? Hey yo, what is Coutinho playing at there? Nah nah nah. Right now this is going to penalties. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do pens. Why have you just lenged it back at me? Go out wide. I gave it to you to pass it on to someone else. Oh my god, I'm pending. You know what's mad? Right now I could get substituted. That's what's mad. If I get substituted and it goes to pens, I will be vexed. That's if it even goes to pens. The team's tired. They've just let Sterling get away there. Don't substitute me. Oh my god. Thank you. I hope we've used all our subs. There we go. Messi. Messi, bro. Messi. Messi. Do it, do it, do it. Oh my days, it's pens. Oh my days, it's pens. This has come down to penalties. Why does that guy look like AJ Tracy? Who is that? I can't do this. <laughs> my heart. My heart can't do this. Why do like finales with me always have to, it has to be like mad close. If you've watched Pez become a legend over the years, you'll know like it's always mad close. Oh my days. <laughs> I am shook. I don't even know where to go. It's a penalty shootout. Just, we could have, it could have been different. We could have scored in the last minute. We wouldn't have needed this. We could have scored in the last minute and we just wouldn't have needed this. And now it's, it's down to penalties. So what are we saying? And I think they're going to give me like the first penalty to take as well. <sighs> I am so shook. I mess you got 99 penalties. I'm third. In the lineup, Messi's got 99 penalties, so I don't want to see Messi missing. This is pain. Sterling's gonna go first. <laughs> oh gosh, what is happening? Miss, miss, miss Raheem. Oh, Tustegan saved it. Tustegan saved it. Coutinho, come on. Pick a side, pick a side. Aye, that is a pen. That is a pen. Come on. Ooh. Lionel Messi, you've got 99 penalties. I do not want to see you miss this pen. Lionel Messi, please. Ah, oh, calm as you like. Calm as you like. Look at him. Oh, my, my heart is beating. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Oh please Manny, oh please Manny. Yes, Tustegan! Yes, Tustegan! <laughs> oh, Dennis Suarez, please. I can't do anything more, I've missed my penalty. <laughs> My cheeks are hurting from smiling. Fabian Delph misses this, it's done. Oh, he's, he's tucked it away. He's tucked it away. Oh, no. Kante. Kante. Please. Take it away. Oh, <laughs> yes. Kante's done it. He's done it, we've done it. The Champions League final is ours. I missed my penalty, yes I did. But the goalkeeper gets the right way. Do you know what I was thinking? Because everyone was going left, I was like, if I go left, they're probably gonna save it now, knowing me. But it doesn't matter, we've won the Champions League final. Ter Stegen has taken it home for us. Oh, is this Lionel Messi's final game? Or are we just throwing him up because he's our captain? My days. Messi's gonna lift the trophy. Champions League winners, we've done it. We have done it. Oh, my cheeks, my cheeks are hurting from all this smiling. Oh, what a moment, what a moment. Look at us coaching. Nah, man, what, what, what a way to end what's been a very interesting series. We've had up and downs, we've, we've snaked and we've moved to Barcelona, but we've won things. We've won the league and the Champions League at Barcelona. And that's, that's, that's a great way to finish this overall. Oh, <laughs> no. And we end 93 rated, 93 rated.
Uh, 22 appearances for the season at Barca. An average rating of 6.8. But like I said, we skipped some games. 19 goals, 2 assists. Overall, we didn't reach 250 appearances this year. Uh, 245, an average rate of 6.9, 208 career goals, uh, 58 assists to go with that as well. To be fair, like, at the age of 22, we, we've done well, man. We've done really, really well. That was very, very tense, very crazy. Make sure if you haven't followed the stream already that you do so. I do want to stream some Pez 2020 now the game's out. I'm going to start Become a Legend on 2020, um, probably with the new name of, <laughs> what is it, Manisius Jr. That is the new name. But yeah, overall, like, I've enjoyed doing this again. Four years strong we've been doing this. And it just, it doesn't get any any better. Like, we just enjoy it every year. And people do still still like to see it. So, overall, I'm happy. But that, that is the end. Look, like you said, that's one thing off the bucket list. To win the Champions League. Look at him getting gassed. Fan favourite. Let's just quickly take a look at my career overall, though. We started out at Fortuna Sittard, we scored goals there, we caught the eye of Millwall and we dropped to the Championship. We then got a move to the Premier League with Bournemouth, did our bit there. Not our greatest time, but we did our bit. We moved to Milan where we scored the most goals that we ever scored, I believe. 72 goals and 85 appearances, 21 assists. Atletico Madrid was the next step where we had one of our best goal scoring records actually. 56 appearances, 51 goals and 17 assists. And then we snaked it in the end. Just because we were running out of time in the series, we snaked it in the end and we went to Barcelona. But we won things and we just won the Champions League on penalties. So, overall, that has been a very successful career. But this is our retirement now. That is it done for us. That is it. Um, make sure if you haven't subscribed already on the YouTube channel that you do. If you haven't followed the stream right now, uh, follow the stream because we're going to be streaming um, some Pez over the next few days as well. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing a video showing you guys how to get the kits and all the leagues and licenses and stuff uh, on PlayStation 4. So if you, if you want to know that and you don't know how to do that, uh, that video hopefully will be coming over the next couple of weeks because all the kits and stuff should be out by then. Um, but yeah, that's it. Become a Legend is done for another year and we'll start the next one soon.